Welcome to Like Mother, Like Murder. I am Rachel. And I'm Heather. We bring you the good, the badass, and the crime. This is Like Like Mother, Mother, Like like murder. Murder. Relax, enjoy that wine, and listen to the wonderful sounds of Heather. (laughs) One of my favorite sounds right there. (laughs) You guys, welcome back to Like Mother Like Murder. You guys also get to sit back and listen to the the lovely sounds of Heather today. Bringing you the lovely sounds of Heather. Are you trying to be one of those people Like those you- late night talk yeah. shows that they talk like this and they say, call us at 1-800-SULTRY-SOUNDING-VOICE. <laughs> I'm an idiot because the first thing I was about to say was what? actually the stupidest thing I've ever what thought of in my head. What say? It didn't even make any sense because I mixed two things together. <laughs> and I'm not going to even do the voice now because I just, my brain's not working anymore. But I was going to say 1-800-NO-PANTIES.COM. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so now we're mixing together a collect call line and a website. You I think, I think, anywhere. <laughs> you know what? I think that that actually sounds like it's going to make you the most amount of money because you're covering oh. all your bases there. You're covering all your bases. If that doesn't show you that I've never made those phone calls, looked into <laughs> those phone calls, and also just, oh man. <laughs> are those still a thing? Like phone sex things? Is that still a thing? Sure they are in Ooh. some world i just you know because like now the whole thing seems to be like f- feet pics and stuff right yeah, so it's like, like it's all online and feet pics and yeah, crashes, yeah yeah but i'm sure there's still some old school people out there that just like to dial 1-800 sex now and get Dot get their got- <laughs> <laughs> <Positive. laughs> let us know you guys if you're uh, let us doing know let us know um and let us know how lucrative it is so that we can decide if we need a career change Seriously. well <laughs> on that note happy october happy october again happy you october. Guys. Yes. we, we are, are fully it. fully fully into spooky season yes, we are. spooky season and i am kind of sad to say that at this point in time i have not even put up spooky decorations the only thing i have done is three little pumpkins that i found at target that i just thought were so cute i have not even busted it out my october has been insane insane have you decorated yet um i have not fully decorated i do have some stuff out i also even though i moved here over a year ago (laughs) i still live in some boxes so let me tell you that i was telling so seb he's like super into like fall decor and like Mm. if he could have his room in any kind of like thing it would be like fall themed right and so and he's not like into like scary movies or like that kind of like horror gore it's just like Mm -hmm. the fall kind of like whatever vibes um yes but i'm the opposite okay so uh (laughs) i'm like oh yeah like i have so many things right yeah i don't know where they are I don't know where they are. I don't know. Because there's so many different, like, they can be in the garage. They can be under the staircase. They can be in any of the closets that are not being utilized. Like, there's way too much room in this house, you guys. And I don't know where they are. So I have, like, I'm looking right now. I have a little bit of decor in my room because I need it going on. Mm. And I have my my kitchen area is a little uh, decorated because I need that. But I haven't done my front porch, which I always yeah. do. I haven't done like my living room area. It's a lot. But I mean, it, it, so for you, you also have birthday. Oh, I know. That takes over. It took right? over. It yeah. absolutely took over. Like, so Ebby's birthday is in the middle of October and we did it up. Did it up Mm -hmm. this year full out like birthday party kids from school like the whole shebang and i I, 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 it was so much and i'm so tired 
And you made it, it. But you know what? And and Rachel and I was we were just talking about this and it's exactly what Rachel had just said to me. She was so fucking happy. This is yeah. why I stress out and this is why I like get no sleep and why because the look on her face just she was just so happy and so it was a success it was a success but now we're and it's so funny literally it's two days after her birthday today and we're in the car driving home from her school and she goes so for my birthday and i'm like baby your birthday's over she goes (laughs) she goes no my five birthday i'm like girl (laughs) that's in like 363 (laughs) days like you need to chill yourself out but you're like i'm going on a mom vacation you better sit down (laughs) i know chill out we'll (laughs) we'll talk about it later we'll talk about it later but for real she's already on to the next but that's so funny (laughs) well i'm glad that she enjoyed it that is amazing truly did also let's check because you guys I mean for all of you that have decorated props to you that means you have way more time than us please let Mm, us know how mm. you're doing it just kidding that's not what that means but yeah (laughs) I don't know how to fit it in at this time I also you know if I could find my stuff maybe I'd fit it in (laughs) I know exactly where my stuff is and I still can't fit it in so it is what it is but you know what maybe tonight's episode will get us both in the mood oh, shit. because I'm I am I'm spooking it up here I'm I'm definitely being spooky I'm definitely being creepy we are going to get into some uh some some scary some scary ish tonight tonight I'm excited for that. are you ready are you ready for this can do you have cheers? your drink I was, I was gonna, gonna say, say <laughs> drinks I am currently drinking a mom water what you Karen, like a, a Karen. <laughs> I cannot wait um, to drink these with you in person oh, in yes. just a few days. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. So excited, you guys. Yes. That we can clinky clink in real life, I'm so excited for. So that is what I'm yeah. drinking. What are you drinking, my dear? I have red wine. I have a Cab Sov. It is actually a leftover from an episode we just recorded. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I, I could not hang. Um, I actually out drank Rachel yeah. that episode, y'all. I, that Which is like first. that that yeah that has <laughs> never happened before. Yeah. So I was I was actually like whoa, That's pretty right. pretty like whoa. It's all good. Pretty whoa. <laughs> pretty Who else whoa. Is pretty whoa. All right, you guys. We let's cheers. Anyone else holding a drink? Cheers us. And cheers let's get into to it. That. I'm excited for the spooky spooky. Boop, 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 creepy, boop. Creepy. Mm. That's good stuff. Okay. So getting into this, we all know that a big, big, big part of Halloween, um, you turn on the channels, you turn on whatever streaming you're subscribed to, the five whatever streamings you're subscribed to, and everything has like, okay, here's our spooky, here's our Halloween, you know, whatever. Like movies, scary movies are a big part of this time of year, and Zach and I actually have a Halloween tradition, which I think I've talked about on the podcast before, where we each pick a scary movie to watch. And so, right. like, we have, you know, like, we've we've gone, you know, super scary. <laughs> we've gone to the so scary that I couldn't even finish because I was, like, having a straight-up heart attack. What was We've it? gone, like, I, <laughs> and it's so crazy. I've seen this movie before. It's um, The Woman in Black. With okay. Harry Potter, with yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. I have seen the movie before. I saw the movie in theaters with Diane and Brittany, and I made it through. But we watched it, or we attempted to watch it, I think, like, two Halloweens ago. Right. And I was like, Zach, I can't, I'm having a heart attack. Like, I'm having a freaking heart attack. I do feel like, and, and you guys, let me know if you guys feel like this too, but I feel like there is something about watching a scary movie in your home that yeah. just makes it more, like intense oh 100 percent. yeah yes and so like lately what we've had to do when we're gonna watch them we end up trying to watch them like during the day when the girls are napping when i can have all of the windows open and it's not like scary because like i legit like i can't handle my stuff anymore um so we we tend to watch scary movies every halloween um and so to kind of honor that tradition i was talking to zach about oh what am i gonna do for you know my spooky scary halloween october episode and i am going to go over haunted horror movies 
Okay. Oh, that's exciting. So yeah. these are literally movies, like films, that have okay. that people believe are haunted, are cursed, just Ooh. because of the crazy real life goings on that the went of Oz? around. I'm not, but oh. that was all, that was on my list because I wanted to stick with like horror movies. You know what I mean? But that was actually when I was researching that one came up a lot. A lot because that one that one's pretty oh, yeah I'm that so one's eager. up there on the list yeah so it's what's crazy is you know like i've heard some of these things before but i didn't realize like there's some like legit like crime i mean some really spooky stuff that goes on but like yeah. some legit crime um related to some of these um curses these these haunted horror movies um so it's 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 pretty it's pretty crazy <clears throat> Okay, so are you ready? Something really quick. Before okay, do you start. it. Let's do it. Talking about, I'm so sorry, you guys. You have what? to hear this because what? this is so important. But talking about watching scary movies. Okay, so I remember you talking about that last year, and I had told Joel, I was like, we need to watch scary movies as often as we can. Which I don't sit. I mean, you guys have heard it a thousand times. I don't sit. I don't watch TV. But he's home, you guys my man. He's home. Yay! He lives here now. So I'm like trying to like take advantage of the fact that we're together. Yeah. And so we're trying to watch stuff. And <laughs> the what? first, the first night that we're like, okay, we're going to sit down and watch a scary movie. This was just like two weeks ago. We're going to sit down and watch a scary movie. What'd you watch? He picks a movie based on the fact that <laughs> My daughter was just casted in a, she's in theater and she was just casted in a, in a play for Winnie the Pooh. And there's a horror movie out there. About Winnie like, the Pooh? Yes, Heather. Stop it. No, there's yes, not. Heather. And no, there's is, not. Why listen, would they ruin like that beautiful like character? Listen to me. No. There is, is a scary? horror movie out there. Well, let me get to that part. Of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, okay, and Christopher Robin, and just like, you, I would say you gotta watch it, but I don't recommend it. Um, so I would like to point out, I fell asleep within three minutes, and I didn't wake up till the last ten minutes. <laughs> So I woke up, I woke up the last like 15 minutes, maybe, maybe it was 15 minutes, and I like look at the TV and I'm like, what did you choose? And he's like, why does it matter? You're asleep, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, what did you pick? And I guess like a coworker told him about the movie, whatever. But the point is, I was like, my jaw was on the floor. Stop. I was like, what? But I'm then also, also, it was so stupid. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I swear. Oh. I swear. So, okay. No. Uh, real quick, oh, no. on that same kind of note, before I get into like the movies, um, yeah. on at Diane's bachelorette party, at Diane's bachelorette party, the last night there, we decided to. Everyone was pretty like the weekend had the weekend had been a weekend, and we're like, I cannot go out again. Yeah. I cannot do the whole thing again. So we we stayed in. We watched, and they picked a scary movie to watch, and it was this. And it was, I don't even think any of it was in English. I think it was all subtitles. And I want to say it was like based in Singapore or something. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. But like the whole thing was like, oh, it was, it was, it was scary. Okay. It was scary. And then the next morning I woke up early and took off because I had a long drive. Yeah. And I swear, like I was driving home alone and I was so, I was so scared. And I got back, I got back to my house and immediately text everyone. And I was like, you guys, that fucking ghost, that fucking ghost was following me home. Oh, she was messing man. with the street lights. Like it was not, I was, I was freaked out. Wow. I was freaked out. So Yikes. like, I am a little baby when it comes to scary movies. I am legit a little baby. So Zach tries to do the best he can and, and pick movies that he thinks like I'm not completely gonna freak out about. 
Yeah. Um, but one year, so the first movie that I'm going to talk about is actually one we watched for this tradition. It was actually one of the first ones he ever picked for us to watch, like within the first few years we were dating. And it is, no, Rachel. <laughs> Why is that a movie? You guys, this is, no. She's showing me the picture of this Winnie the Pooh horror movie. And this is not Joel, Joel. I have a bone to pick with you, okay? <laughs> you get to why? see it on Friday. You why? Get to pick that bone. Like, why are you doing that? Anyway, stop yeah. it, Joel. Okay, stop it. We are going to get into it, you guys. Fifteen minutes in. <laughs> okay, okay. We're sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Rosemary's Baby. This was one of the first movies that Zach picked um, for us to watch, and um, this is from like 1968. And if you guys are unfamiliar with this movie, it's like a, like old school classic horror movie. Um, and the the main plot of it is is that a lady she moves into a new apartment building with with her husband, and all the tenants are basically like Satanists. They all like worship Satan, and at the basically she ends up getting pregnant with Satan's baby, and then a a bunch of stuff happens. Yeah, it's 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 something else. It's something else. Um and there's a lot I mean this movie is definitely creepy, especially, you know, like it's one of those older movies that like you wouldn't I don't know. Something about those older movies that really do just have like a different kind of creepy, like right. creepy vibe for sure. Yeah. So, let me talk what about What did you some- say it was called? Rosemary's what? Rosemary's Baby. Okay, I'm going to keep a tally mark of the things that I've never heard of before. You've never heard of Rosemary's Baby? No. Okay. And now you, I don't I hope I never It is see it is definitely again. one of those like classic horror like, you know, old like kind of Hollywood horror 1960s movies. And and it's got some really weird stuff that yeah. happens around this movie. Okay? Well, so it's like when I I I watched a scary movie at a slumber party, I, th- I think I was in fifth grade. I don't know. All I know uh-huh. is, like, my mom was like, never again will I ever let you sleep over at anyone's house because this is not What movie allowed. was it? Do you remember? <laughs> I do. What was it? <laughs> it wasn't even, like, it wasn't even a horror one. It's probably why I have this podcast. What is it? It was Murder by Numbers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a great movie. Okay. Yeah, but that also, is a good movie. You want to know the other one? But not appropriate you, for a fifth grader. But also, I have to say, you want to know what we watched with Murder by the by what? Numbers? What? Thirteen Ghosts. Oh God, for yeah. real? That's the one that traumatized me. The Jackal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. End of story. You know the first scary movie I ever watched. Well, you're getting me on that because the first scary movie I ever watched at like a fifth or sixth grade slumber party. Yeah. Was um, What Lies Beneath? Okay. That and I recently ma- we picked that movie a few years back and I made Zach watch it because he'd actually never seen it and that 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 shit that shit I'll fuck you up talk about yes. trauma Seriously. okay well I Sorry. think that it's just plain to see we're gonna be talking about movies this entire time so and, guys, and join along let us goes. know what you think yes. about all these movies well, I okay. want to know what you guys are traumatized okay. by so I know I let it, let, we should post that. Like, just be like, which movie? What movie traumatized you? you? <laughs> I know the one that traumatized me. <laughs> Shit. Literally every single scary movie I've ever seen. Okay. Nah. So, Rosemary's Baby. Creepy real life stuff that happens, like, kind of around this film. So, okay. the first thing the guy who wrote the score, the guy who wrote all the music for the movie, um, There's not a lot of information, actually, about his death, but the director of the movie, he says that what happened is the same year that this movie came out, the the guy who wrote the score, his his name was Kameda. He was only 37 years old. He was, like, roughhousing or, like, wrestling at a party, and he fell off of, like, like a roof or something and he went into a coma for four months hello twisted humans 
Do you find yourself wanting to know more about the latest murder, conspiracy, cult, or haunting? Then this is the podcast for you. In 1952, there was a record high of UFOs reported. 1,500 sightings. There has been evidence of human sacrifice, devil worship, and it is haunted by more spirits than can be counted. A family of two adults and two kids reportedly saw a giant flying thing with glowing red eyes. And meanwhile, the family's nanny that helped Veronica to care for her and Lucian's children was found bludgeoned to death in the basement of their family home. I'm Alicia. And I'm Sierra. And this is Twisted Twisted and and Uncorked. I mean, who roughhouses on a fucking roof? I don't know. But the weird thing about this is in the movie, the same thing happens to one... Okay, so in the movie, one of Rosemary's friends is kind of like, what the fuck is going on in this apartment building? Yeah. The same thing happens. They are, he falls off of any, yeah, uh uh-huh. And um, so what happened was, like, they, because they basically, the Satanists are trying to kill off the suspicious friend, like, don't interfere with our plans. And so this guy who wrote the score in, in real life, he just, he never woke up and he died a year later. That is crazy. Isn't that creepy? That is creepy. Yeah. Okay. It only gets kind of weirder with this one. So another one is there was um, a producer named William Castle, and he got a lot of hate mail, um, a lot of hate mail. And so he had a lot of like anxiety and like, you know, about that. And then he got like really bad kidney stones. And they said that when he was in the hospital because of the kidney stones, he was like delirious and he was hallucinating about scenes from the movie. And he was like yelling, like, Rosemary, drop the knife, drop the knife, Rosemary. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh and then it is said that he he basic he recovered eventually but after that he never he never made another like hit movie after that. He was done as a producer basically. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how often that happens. I mean, I'm so bad with knowledge. <laughs> um <laughs> I was just going to say that pain triggers your trauma, right? Oh, so for it's sure. Like, like, I know that that happens, but it's like, so was that There's movie such like a a triggering event in his life that this pain is it what caused, caused So that? 100%, wow. like, your, your mental stress, and we have talked about this before, how much your yeah. mental stress can literally lead to, like, physical afflictions. Oh, yeah. Like, for sure, that was happening here. For sure. Wow. Crazy. Now, here is the craziest kind of thing about um, Rosemary's Baby, the movie, and how it is connected to Charles Manson and the Manson family and the Manson family murders. What? Okay. Are you ready? Is Rosemary's Baby named Manson? No. No. But it was like Satan's baby, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, okay. Um, so Polanski is the director. And okay. I'm just going to say out front, he was also just like a horrible human being. P- okay. Polanski was like not a good guy. Anyway, he was married to Sharon Tate. I know who that is. That's the Sharon Tate who yeah. was pregnant with his baby Yeah, when she was brutally murdered by the Manson family. And this was only about a year after the movie was released. And she had been all over that set. I think I even read that she wanted the role of Rosemary, Hmm. but it it went to somebody else, you know, but she wanted that role. Now a little bit more about it goes deeper than that. I mean, maybe you may hear this next part and think, oh, Heather, you're reaching. But, like, it is weird how connected it is. So right. um, the Manson, I mean, I'm sure most of you guys, if you're if you're true crime people, you know about, you know, Charles Manson and the murders um, that he committed. Um, well, I guess, like, his family committed, not technically him. 
Um, so, but really quickly, just like as a quick background, the book that's written about it is called Helter Skelter, right? Yes. And they used this term Helter Skelter to describe basically like what they thought was going to be like a major like race war that would pretty much like in an apocalypse and okay. manson got the term helter skelter from a Beatles song okay mm-hmm. now john lennon who was a member of the Beatles, when he was assassinated it was right across the street from the apartment complex where the movie was filmed hmm. yeah hmm. yeah And so it's so weird because, like, Rosemary's Baby was about a pregnant woman who, I mean, was pretty much, like, pregnant with Satan's baby. Right. Sharon Tate was pregnant when she was murdered. With Satan's baby? Yeah, maybe. Because, I mean, because Polanski was definitely not a fucking angel. He was not a good guy. I (laughs) And she was murdered by the Manson family. What's the saying? Call a dick a dick? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that saying, but I love it. <laughs> what is it, though? <laughs> call a spade a spade? A call a dick a dick? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. We is, are it like, is it like that? If it, <laughs> if it, if it walks like a dick and, and quacks like a dick, it's a dick? <laughs> If the dick fits. <laughs> oh, fuck. Happy okay. Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, y'all. Um, that's our next shirt. Um, yeah, but yeah, so that that is Rosemary's Baby and all like the really weird wow. stuff around Whoa. it. Um, and so like you know, you watch the movie, it's already got this major, like, creep factor, and then, like, finding out kind of all this other stuff. And if you guys haven't read Helter Skelter, that's a bomb-ass book. That's, like, a bomb-ass book. Should I bring it to you when I see you in a few days? (laughs) Okay, I will. It's good. It honestly, and, you know, sometimes those, like, crime books are hard to get through, um, but this one is, like, it's legit. I read this book did it? Was it this one or the OJ one? I think it was this one. I read it on my honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're so little, cool. little light raining on my honeymoon. Okay. Jamaica, baby. Jamaica. All right. Are you ready for the next haunted Hollywood horror? Tell me what it is. Poltergeist. Like the oh. original Poltergeist. Have you ever Ooh, seen it? Yeah. The 1982 version. But it's been like, a, it's been forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah. I used to be like, I used to love them. Yeah, And I just, I, everything is like, cause my memory is so shot, but it's like, everything is coming back. I need to like rewatch everything, but yeah, yes. you should, yes. you should. I will say that like, I have, I have like seen Poltergeist, but I haven't like watched Poltergeist. If that like makes sense. Like I've like seen it, but I've never actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I watch half of the scary movies I watch is with through uh, like through my fingers <laughs> or with a pillow over my face. And like like literally every Halloween when Zach and I are watching movies, like I hold yeah. the pillow and I look at him and I just say like, can I look yet? Can I look, oh can I look yet? <laughs> so Poltergeist, um, the original 1982, and then there was like a sequel and then like a third one later in the 80s. If you guys... I mean, you have to know, you know, a little bit about this this movie. But the, the the basic plot is that there's a haunted house that has like a bunch of ghosts, and they all kind of like, um, like they they're all kind of following this main ghost um guy, and they ultimately pretty much like, I mean, it's not really a spoiler alert. This this movie is what 40 years old they've had but, so many years yeah yeah movie. like yeah so, I mean, if you don't want to know what happens fast forward 30 seconds pretty yeah. much it's when they kidnap the little girl through the tv and then yeah. like the 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 mom has to like go in and try to get her okay so um there's a bunch of stuff that happened around this movie okay they like literally people like have there are multiple 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 accounts of people believing that this movie was cursed and the thing that i think brought this on it's their own damn fault because you know what they did no 
They used real skeletons yeah, on the set of the first film. Awful. Why would you like, do that? You're yeah. inviting bad mojo. Okay. I mean, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do um, that. Um, don't do that. And also, if you do that, don't do that. Yeah. What? Do you know why too? No. Because the budget, like they were wor- they like oh they like they were gonna God. try to make like skeletons out of rubber or something, but they said it would cost too much. So they just yeah, brought in real skeletons. Like, yeah, what the actual fuck, right? So y'all should never have done that. And and that's what I have to say about that. Now let's talk about what using these real skeletons, which y'all brought upon yourself. Okay. So, um, there was a actress in the film, Dominique Dunn. Um, and she played like the older daughter and she was actually strangled by her boyfriend in her own driveway the same year that the movie came out. Yeah. And guess how long Did she live? No. She then he strangled her to death. He strangled her to death. And then guess how long he was in jail for? Oh my god. I don't even know. What, like barely? Like three years. Shut up. Like three and a half years. Yeah. What? He's the worst. I don't know if he's still alive, but wherever you are, you're the worst. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She was strangled by you say so the year that it was released. So how Uh how long from the movie being made to the year that it was released? Like, do you know? Um not too long. Okay. Not yeah. too long. It's I'm not like it up. took years and years and years for this this movie to it's be like made. Like she just filmed it and then this happened. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's creepy. Mhm. Mhm. Fuck off. Dude. I know, right? Right? So the Heather O'Rourke who plays the the daughter who gets like pulled into the the TV um she was six in like the poultry guy. She's the little girl that like every it's like they're here type of thing. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Did anyone else's body go shiver? Do it again. They're here. <laughs> I would really try to do it, but I can't stop smiling because I <laughs> smile when I'm like uncomfortable. <sighs> I'm like, they're here. <laughs> they're like totally here. <laughs> no, I don't talk like that. We know that. <laughs> no, that's me. That's my valley girl oh, impression. I was like, no. <laughs> um, so she was six, right? When they when they filmed this, um, she actually died when she was only twelve years old during a surgery because they think that she most likely had some kind of like like congenital like stomach issue, mm-hmm. and so they had gone in because there was something like with her stomach, and she actually died. When she was sad. really young, just what I know, so sad, so sad. Mm. Um, so the next thing is when the second movie came out, when the sequel came out a few years after the first, one of the actors who was actually an American Indian actor and he played a shaman in the, in the movie, he did a real life exorcism. Um, on the set of the second movie because he knew like uh, that first movie like had bad mojo because they used the right. real skeletons. So he's like, let's keep that curse away. Let's yeah. let's, you know, do do some cleansing stuff. And then that guy, he later dies at a very young age. OK, yeah. um, of uh, after he was only like 53 and he had um he had had some kind of surgery and then his kidney failed and he was only 53 years old and he died in 1987 so that would have been just like a year or two after the second movie came out after he tried to do a cleansing ritual right. for it mhm yeah. and then there was another actor from that sequel um named Julian Beck and he actually plays like an evil preacher dude in that movie oh. he died of stomach cancer not too long after the second movie so it's like part of me is like okay 
creepy. Yeah. Part of me is like, okay, what are they feeding these people <gasps> on set? What you are they have to doing like you have to like there's doing? something going on right like stomach cancer she has that weird bowel obstruction like he's dying from some after like a, a surgery yeah. um and like it what it reminds me of it's so funny because um there was this the guys the from yeah, well that's what i'm saying is like the guys from uh 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 beyond the shadows right. they did they talked about it where like they talked about like the curse of the mummy and like because like a bunch of people that like were around when they dug up i don't know if it was like tut or something mm-hmm. they all died and it was and people think there was some kind of bacteria you know right. that like got and so like that it totally makes sense but you sit there and you wonder like there's something going on right something's up yep so there's a few others that may seem like a little less Less related, but a lot of people still think it's attributed to the curse of the poltergeist. Okay. okay. So Richard Lawson, um, he was part of the um the the movie. Um he was in a plane crash. Okay. 27 of the people, um, there was 51 total on board, 27 died, and he actually survived. Uh-huh. OK, um, but they think that, like, had he not been on that plane, it probably wouldn't have wouldn't have gone down. And then mm-hmm. another one that happened like way, way, way later. Um, but still, people are like, if you were part of this film, you just have bad mojo in your life. Yeah. Another um, guy who he played like a very, very small, small role in the original film. So like, y- but years, years later, um, like decades later, um, he was um, also killed with an axe. Like oh my God. brutal. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Don't axe people. I know. Don't do that, people. But yeah, like a lot of death for like the cast and crew of this Poltergeist movie. Yeah, Uh that is that is a lot. It's it's crazy because, I mean, you had said it in the first one where like you could stretch and and it's so hard. But it is it is one of those things where it's like, did something tag onto them? Uh, Yeah. Did something open? Mm -hmm. Is something happening? Yeah. Ugh. And so I tried to look up too, like, cause there's less, cause you know, they read, they redo all these movies like all the time. Right. Yeah. And, um, they redid Poltergeist in like, I think like 2015 or 2016 or something. Yeah, and I yeah. haven't found anything that says that that one also had curses, but I'm wondering if they learned from the first time yeah. and they did not use real no, skeletons. They did not use real skeletons. <laughs> For no, real. they left For the skeletons real. in the closet. Let's hope. Let's leave those skeletons. <laughs> in I got the Eminem song in my head now. <laughs> Cleaning out my closet. Mm, mm, yeah, get it. Don't see hey. me, Eminem. I was just singing it. Um. Okay. So, are how you many ready? are you doing? I'm only doing four. I'm only doing four. I'm only doing four. four. Okay. Okay. So I know, but it gets it gets a little. This next one is creepy. This next one legit freaks me out. It's so funny. I have I have told this to Zach several times that like I could watch serial killer movies. I could watch movies about husbands killing wives. I could any human. I I'm like okay, whatever. Fucking supernatural shit freaks me a little bit yeah. out. Like, yeah. and it's so crazy because like I am I am a total believer in like everything. Shit. Yeah. Time Not travel. that I've ever actually like experienced much. I've I, I literally have like one experience ever in my life. Um, but I'm a believer that like that shit is out there. And and so, you know, like I try not to like bring bring the bad energy around, right. um, but like these movies, like they legit freak me out. And this next one, I have seen. I don't think it was the original one. I think it was when they redid it. Um, but it's the Omen. Okay. Do you know this one? Yeah. 
Okay, so for those of you who maybe don't know what, like, the plot of The Omen is, so the original Omen, I mean, this movie has been... I probably saw the, the newer one. I don't yeah, know I think I the, 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 the newer one came out, I feel like, probably when we were, like, high school-ish, so I feel like that's the one we probably, mm-hmm. probably saw. Um, so if you don't know about The Omen, um, basically, it's a family pretty much like adopts a little boy in kind of like a weird circumstance. And the little boy is the antichrist. Like the little boy is, you know, like the six, six, six kid. Yep. Okay. So, um, there's a lot that goes on around this, um, one, but why don't we start with lightning? (laughs) <laughs> um yeah why don't Light- we lightning let's start there so let's start with lightning so um so this movie came out in in 1976 so in 1975 the the main actor um he was flying to london and during the flight his plane was struck by lightning no thank you okay and then not too long after that, one of the executive producers' planes also struck by lightning. Okay? So that happened. Two major players of this film's planes were struck by lightning within, like, a few weeks of each other. Then one of the writers also struck by lightning while he was flying. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. And then... While they were actually filming in Rome, lightning ne- just barely missed the one of the producers. Like, he literally almost got hit by lightning. What? Yeah. Yeah. So that's like, Crazy. how many was that? The, four. the two planes. That was the four, fourth one. Four. So four in a short span of major players... Of this film being struck by lightning. Now, how how many times have you even heard of a plane being struck by lightning, right? Like, and then it, with this film, you have it, like, that many times? That's crazy. Like, what's going on? What's going that on? That's crazy. God was like, do not make this movie. No, see, but we're, <laughs> so, it's weird. Be- okay, so I see what you're saying, because I was the exact opposite for a moment. I was thinking, like... Okay, so the omen, 666, the Mm. devil comes Mm. from from below, and it's like, okay, so he's, like, wouldn't he be doing something different? Because, like, the the lightning comes from above, you know? Right, It does. So Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So another thing with um, planes in this movie. So, um... Some of the filming got delayed for some reason or another, and um, so but what they they had like a chartered um plane that was gonna bring the the lead actor dude um to 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 film, but it got delayed so he wasn't needed. Um, the next day, the plane that was supposed to um fly him over like the one that he was going to the be on. plane that he was going to okay. be on um hit a flock of birds and crashed no. killing everyone on board hmm. and then get this no the plane while it was going down also hit a car killing everyone in the car hmm. and this part is really sad the wife that the people in the car were the wife and kids of the plane's pilot. No. Yeah. No. Isn't that crazy? What? So sad. Mixed up sad universe is this I mean, woman living in- I have said okay. it before. I don't really believe in coincidences. Like, shit is happening around these no. movies. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, <clears throat> so we have lightning. We have plane crashes. We also have psycho animals. 
What? Yeah. Okay. So they used Rottweilers in the movie to um, basically like they were supposed to be like the hellhounds and they're supposed to like, you know, like be like devil dogs. Well, they often turned and attacked their own trainers and they seriously injured one of the stuntmen. Now, Hmm. maybe that's just because the trainers weren't good trainers. Right. But. mm. And then there's also a scene in the movie where they're driving through like a like a safari park. And then their car basically gets attacked by like wild monkeys. Mm -hmm. And in the movie, it's like a really scary scene because the actress, she is like like her acting is like she's legit horrified. And you find out that. The reason it felt so realistic is because she was attacked by monkeys. She was. Well, she I mean, that day she was, but like not like I don't think before that. But she she just her reactions were like genuine terror because the monkeys were like so vicious. Like she was not like not prepared for it to be like that crazy. So it wasn't just like good acting on her part. She was legit like scared. And then. um that same scene so like they were at a safari parks filming this the day after they filmed that one of the zookeepers was um killed by it was either a lion or a tiger oh my yeah so on one hand this could just be very irresponsible animal trainer slash handlers on these movie sets on the other maybe these animals like are like hey now hey animals have bad days i don't know like it's <laughs> it's <laughs> hey they do they like, do let them You're live right. their lives but oh that i mean something was absolutely connected oh for sure and that it's just so many things yeah that makes yeah. me so sad and there's there's one more that's what? really that's part of this one and it's it's like the saddest one. No. Yeah. Are are you ready? No, I'm okay. not ready. The saddest S- one was the pilot. Well, that one was really sad, but this one okay, so maybe well this is also very sad and also like very creepy. Okay. So um the special effects there's like a special effects guy. And he had an assistant named Liz Moore. And him and her, they were driving um, during, like, while they're they're filming. And they get into a really, really bad car accident. And she's actually, she's actually decapitated by a tire that smashes into their car. And, and the other crazy thing about this is there's a character in the movie who's also killed by being decapitated not by a tire yeah. by some some glass but while driving in a vehicle right yeah oh and then and then now i'm i can't i mean you i wait hold on movie first no so that was during filming. During filming. So I don't know if they filmed that scene first or not. I, I, I couldn't find that out, but definitely in Either and around way, like it the is same absolutely time. Absolutely messed up. Because yeah. it's like if if it was a scene and that happens, it's like holy hell. Right? Yeah. Second of all, if it's something that happened in real life and then you think And then they you put know it what in I the movie. Do? Oh, I should oh, yeah. absolutely put this in here. That's horrible, too. Oh, I didn't didn't even think about it that way. Oh. Yeah. So the other thing about this this car accident um, is now I I saw this on more than one, like, thing. But I'm like, no way. Like, my skeptic part is coming out. But also I'm like, what the fuck? Because I read this in more than one place. So this, this car accident, it happens the year the film's released. It happens on Friday, on Friday the 13th, okay, and it happens near a road sign that said 
that they were 66.6 kilometers away from a town called Omen. O-M-M-E-N. No. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yep. I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps. Isn't that creepy? That is, no. So had I known any of that, I never would have watched the movie. No. I mean, I watched. The, I'm. I'm almost positive. I watched the the remake of it. I it, think it came out like when we were in high school, like maybe like uh, 2006 or 2007. I I don't think I ever would have watched that. But like, still, isn't that, that crazy? That part is crazy. I'm still like my body. Like I feel like I'm twitching. Uh, it's, I'm just like get off me. Yeah. Well, I have one more. After this, we're going to have to do some kind of like, cleansing. we need to hit up, yeah, we need to hit up the Spiritual Sisters podcast and ask Please them how to do like a cleansing. Just come sage my yeah. body. Sage, sage our minds. Ugh. Okay. Just letting, letting the universe know. I'm just relaying a story. I don't want any bad mojo. Okay? Okay. I'm just going to put this out here really quick for all of the people who live in my house that are deceased or whatever i'm just listening i'm not yeah. even telling the she's story. not I'm even listening telling to the story. she's a passive observer <laughs> i'm just here <laughs> i didn't do this and she didn't know i was doing this i didn't summon you <laughs> be gone be gone <laughs> honestly it's so funny because i do i get super scared freaked out by scary movies but the one thing that tends to help me is um i think of scary movie you know like the the spoof of all the scary movies yeah, like yeah. the you know and it honestly helps me whenever i'm scared i just think about those and it, it it tends to help me uh it tends to help me um relax a little bit okay so i have one more oh gosh Ooh. Ooh. Do you want to guess the movie? Year. Tell me a year. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you the year. Guess a movie. This is, and remember, these are all like classic horror. So this is 1973. They did. I feel like they. Let me double check. Because I know they've redone this one. I just don't know how recently. I feel like really recently. Okay, so this year, literally this year. They are putting out like kind of a, like a new version of this okay. movie, um, and d- I, I, classic horror movies. We've done Poltergeist, we've done Omen. What is one other classic classic horror movie? So, since you said it came out this year, well, the, the original came out nineteen seventy three, no, yeah. and there's no, like I'm a remake me. coming out this remake. year. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> y'all do yourselves a favor or maybe don't if you're like freaked out and don't want to like ruin winnie the pooh yeah. look just look up winnie the pooh horror movie and just look at the fucking picture that they put on the front yeah. of this like as the movie also, like you this didn't is, even like get the to worst see, so you didn't even get to see piglet because i Ooh. don't want to oh, don't ruin piglet for me tell me about i love piglet okay movie. this is the Exorcist. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, What do you uh-huh. mean? This... So you're saying there's the original and then the The, the original remake? Exorcist is was 1973, right. and this year they put out... I think it's already in theaters. It's The Exorcist Believer. Yeah. But you're yeah. saying that's the only one? There's no other Exorcist? I think there's more Exorcists yeah, okay, that okay, have happened. Why, yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. that's why I got confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, like, No, no, there's definitely, like, more... Okay. Yeah. There's, like, I don't even know how many spinoffs of okay. Exorcist. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm really excited to hear you talk about this one. <laughs> so, this one. <laughs> Let me go if grab you... my stuffy and my blankie <laughs> and my CBD and oil your, and, and your sage. Everything. <laughs> and your... <laughs> Okay. So, um, this one, if you guys have just been living under a rock and have no idea, this is about a little girl who's possessed and is getting, uh, um, people come to give her exorcisms. Okay. So the first crazy thing that happened with this movie is before it even really started filming, a fire broke out on set. And the people say that the only room 
that was not impacted by the fire was the little girl's room. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. Really? Mm Mm-hmm. It took six weeks to rebuild the rest of the set, but the little girl's room, fine. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Because they're calling in bad mojo with this movie, okay? So there were a few more delays um, to filming when the actor who plays a priest in the movie, his brother passed away and he had to go home for the funeral. And then not too long after that, the the actress who plays like the little girl, her grandpa died. Hmm. And so that also delayed filming. Okay. Hmm. Um, and then there is a guy, um, an actor named Jack McGowan, who he was in the movie, um, and he is actually in the movie, he, spoiler alert, he's killed by the possessed little girl. He dies from the flu when he was only 54 years old, not too long after appearing in the movie. Hmm. 54. I mean, I know maybe back in 1970s, maybe the flu, like they didn't have the flu shot and... Whatever, but like he was only fifty four. Okay. Yeah, One yeah. thing I read said there was up to like nine deaths that were associated um with this film, including like um the night of a like a night watchman and um some family members of like other cast and crew. Um but there's like a lot that goes on. Um but in addition to that, there was actually like a lot of injuries. Um, related and one of them is like really creepy um but uh one thing i want to say again like maybe this is just like coincidence in that like they this was like you know the 70s maybe they weren't as you know weren't using as many like fail safes when it comes to stunts and whatever right. um for filming and there maybe there were less like rules and that's why but like one of these is i'll talk about it is like still really creepy so in in um one scene the the woman the actress who plays the mother she is like basically like pushed to the floor by like the the possessed the possession mm-hmm. and um what how they did that is they had crew members like she was in a harness and they had crew members like pull her right. like back like really suddenly um but in one of the takes they pulled too hard and she hurt her back oh. um and it was like yeah. kind of like a like a like she was pretty fucked up from it yeah. and then this one's even like even worse um the so Linda Blair, right? She's the plays the little girl who is possessed. She actually fractured her lower back in one of the scenes where the little girl is like convulsing from like the exorcism. Yeah, I would fracture my back. That's a thousand percent. Yeah. So she um she and this was like a lifelong injury that she ended up dealing with. And the I just got goosebumps. Okay. So, in the movie, she, during when she's convulsing, you hear her saying, like, you know, stop, that hurts, it burns. But they kept filming because those were the same words in the script. Oh, my God. And they used the actual footage where she fucking fractured her back in the movie. That's so sad. Yeah. For her. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And so a lot of people, like a lot of people think like with this one that some of this was like drummed up for the film, like to Mm kind of like give it hype or whatever. And there was one where um, Zach was actually reading about some of this, where some I don't even know exactly who he is. I mean, he's an actor, but I don't know who he was, if any in the in the movie but he's he was quoted as saying like if you shoot something for a year people are going to get hurt people are going to die i'm sorry but no not really i don't think that that's i mean i feel like plenty of movies have been made without 
I mean, yeah, like injuries are going to happen, but like it's not like it's normal. Well, I mean, like, so you think of a cast list of so many people. True. I do agree that that people will die and that in that year, maybe some things will happen because, I mean, how many times are we reading or seeing or hearing about things that are just absolutely bonkers, right? You yeah. can connect them to things. True. But... For it to be like boom, 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 boom. For boom. so many and then the attached thing, to one boom, film, boom, yeah, boom, 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 boom. for yeah, sure. I'm like that. For that sure, is a lot. Yep. And it's, yep. Oh, yeah. So that, my dear Rachel, is my haunted horrors. My haunted horror movies. Now all of you have to go watch every single one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't. <laughs> I was just going to say, so those are the ones I'm going to check off the list. I'm not, I'm not going to watch them. The say, only one, okay, so the only one I actually recommend and, like, I mean, no, again, I'm going to tell you, one? like, no. my, yeah, Rosemary's no. Baby, only no. because it's, like, one of those classics, no. and it, but it is, like, it's a creepy one. It's no. definitely a creepy one. Yeah. I'm going to tell you because Zach actually just left and he doesn't know what movie I'm picking for Halloween this year. Yeah. But if any of you guys are listening to this and you have suggestions because he doesn't he doesn't always listen to the full episode. He usually stops right about now cuz we're done with the the story and he's like, "Okay, I'm done." He doesn't Can you believe that he doesn't want to listen to any more of my banter? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I just don't even understand. <laughs> So we we watched A Quiet Place a few uh -huh. years ago. Yeah. I don't even think we watched it for Halloween, um, but we watched it. But we've never seen A Quiet Place 2. You should. So that's the one that I'm picking for this Halloween. I like it. Um, that's actually – so Joel and I watched that in his apartment as one of our first dates. Aww. The first date was Children of the Court. Oh, my God. <laughs> we ate Coach's Hot Wings on the floor Fuck. of his apartment watching Children of the Court. <laughs> You want to know what we watched on one of our first dates? This what? is just like the difference here. Um, Captain America. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's I love it. One. I love that movie. So love Captain America. Definitely America's ass. Um, <laughs> we, so it's funny because how many of you guys right now, how many of you guys choose scary movies on a first date because you might Scoot over a little. Little scoochy little scooch. Closer. A little, ooh, jump little, right into your arms. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Yeah, no, right, I would not, I would not be cute. I was going to say I would not be cute. If I kind of want to I would like, I would here. probably like slap somebody That's or like hit. I hit Zach a lot. I feel really bad for him. Like when if we're, I, I like, I do like the, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, kind of like, like yeah. hit him with <laughs> <laughs> or like I do the like I slap his leg like sack, sack, sack. <laughs> he probably fucking hates watching scary <laughs> movies with me but we're too deep in now for at this point for him yeah. to take any of it back no he's stuck <laughs> that is exactly that's why I was like oh my gosh how fun would it be for me to just bring him in here and to tell you exactly what I'm about to tell you but so one of those first I don't think it was children of the corn it was definitely one of the next dates or whatever but um, we were sitting on the couch and like something happened. I am the most, so I'm already skittish as a human. <laughs> yeah. I'm already jumpy as a person. Like you don't have to add anything scary or haunted or creepy into the mix, right? Like you just got to say hi, Rachel. And I'm like, Ugh! okay. <laughs> it's just who I am as a person. Okay. And we were watching a scary movie and we're sitting there and like he's on the couch and I'm on the couch and my knees are up because, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to hide the fact that I'm terrified. Yeah. And oh, yeah, I almost need him straight in his <laughs> freaking face. And it is something to this day that he tells everyone like, yeah, uh, one of our first dates, she decided she wanted to knee me on the face. And I'm like, I didn't decide. I didn't make the decision. Like, you know what I want to do? It was more of like a, okay, this is happening. You know? That's how he knew you were the one. 
Yeah. She's so comfortable. She wants to knee me in my face. She is it for me. <laughs> oh, that's sure how he, it. that's when he knew he loved you. That's hilarious. I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. Heather. Whoa. Did you like whoa, it? Oh, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. You know, now we cleanse. Now we ooh, cleanse. We cleanse. We, we cleanse. cleanse. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm going on vacation because I need to like get out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I did want to ask you, though. So as mm. you were doing this, I, I came up with, like, a question or two. Okay. Of, of like, I want to know, first of all, like, if if you could just tell me, and I know questions like this are hard, whatever, but, like, what is the scariest movie Ooh. you have ever seen? Okay. I cannot give you one. But I, I will I will tell question. you the ones that like stick out in my brain. Okay. Um arachnophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you would not think like I mean, just like most normal humans, I am a little bit scared of spiders. I feel like it's an evolutionary thing, right? That one is not so much like building as it is like jump scare jump scare jump scare but like that shit had me jumping okay um like i said the woman in black yeah <laughs> diane <laughs> i remember, there was i think it was this one it was i think it was woman in black where <laughs> we're in the theater and she's sitting next to me and she does a ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like a two scream yeah. that one is scary and i'm telling you like i couldn't even finish it a few years yeah. ago when we and, and i'd fucking seen it before and i still right. couldn't finish it yeah. and then the other one that i legit had to take a I, we had to stop halfway through because i was just like oh my god the blair witch project it's a good movie was legit it's good and we i had to tell zach like can we pause it and i had to take like a 10 minute break because like i couldn't breathe right i couldn't breathe yeah. Um. So those are some of like the scariest movies I feel like I've seen. They're not like what I would consider like my favorite scary movies. Um. Because my favorites are ones that really like make me think more. Ooh. Um. You know, like more like ooh. So I already know like the one that I'm gonna tell you, and it makes okay. me wonder if that's on your think list. Okay. Go. 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 Which one? So like my all time favorite. Well, favorite, scary, crazy. The movie that gets me the most that will still like haunt me to today and absolutely blow my mind and all of those things blah, 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 is Gothica. Oh, oh, so ooh, yeah. I can't watch Gothica um, alone, number one. No. I don't want to watch Gothica at all. Mm -mm. Um, and it's crazy because if you think, listen, this is going to be crazy for me to tell you right now. So, first of all, uh, Rachel <laughs> in Gothica. First of all, that's my name for anyone who's wondering. <laughs> so, that's terrifying in itself. Mm -hmm. um, there was a street that I used to drive when I was younger every single day. And it reminded me of a scene in Gothica. Uh -huh. and, and when I, so when I would drive it at night, so I used to play soccer for a living. <laughs> and on my way from where I live to the soccer complex, there was this like street. And every time I would drive by it, it's like it was one of those streets where you just see the street lights on each side and uh -huh. it's just street lights, uh -huh. street lights, street lights keep going down. And I just was traumatized after seeing oh this movie. God. And every single time I would drive it, I would literally take my mirror, my rear view mirror, and uh -huh. I would fucking turn it. No, on that street, on that street itself, yeah. because I thought if I looked in that rearview mirror, I would see, uh huh, me in the back seat. No, uh -huh. I would, you know, and just like, her, yeah, so just absolutely crazy. But that movie in itself is just such a such a that crazy, one's like like thinking, mind blowing type thing. My um, yeah, that one really gets into your head so for sure. Like, that's the one. Horror movies really I laugh most of the time. Um stuff that's more like haunting or spooky or scary, I guess, can get to me sometimes. Scary movies. Were you were you with 
the group in high school that went and saw like strangers too oh whatever, yes right oh so yeah like, the strangers movie... i actually made zach watch that one because i hadn't yeah. seen it since high school we had the like the hugest group we took yeah, up like i don't even group. i remember i sat next to jason colette yeah. um and i was like <laughs> <laughs> to him the whole fucking time no that movie was creepy and i i used that movie as one of um a halloween movie um for for zach and i because he'd actually never seen it yeah Another that was a movie good i one. liked back then that i actually thought was good at that time which i haven't seen it since so i wonder what it would be like if i saw it now as an adult was mirrors i never I saw that, that, that movie one. was like really good anyways yeah wow oh me oh my I gotta watch some movies. I know. We're like on one now about these scary movies. So you guys have to tell us what you think. Like send us, DM us, hit us up like mother like murder at gmail.com. Hit up our Facebook group. Maybe I'll I'll start a post about scary yeah, movies. Um, let us know what which ones really, really get to you. And let us know if you've heard of any of the other like crazy haunting curses that come with um, movies. Because there's definitely more. There's definitely more that I didn't cover. Like Rachel said, Wizard of Oz. Um, the Crow is another one that has like a lot of crazy stuff attached to it. Um, so yeah, for sure. Because I might have to do like a part two. There's a lot, uh, a lot of uh, creepy crawly movies out there. But uh, for sure, for it. sure. And if you guys are listening to this right now and you are enjoying yourself or and or if you're thoroughly freaked out right now and we just like scared the bejesus out of you, <laughs> take that as a sign to go leave us a rating or review wherever you're Ooh. listening to this podcast. I like that. <laughs> that really helps us um, guys like reach um, more listeners and kind of kind of get us out there. So go ahead and, and hit us up on that. And, uh, you know, until, uh, until next time, it'll still be, it'll still be spooky October. We've yes, still got will. more, uh, spooky coming your oh, way. <laughs> Heather, you have no idea what I'm bringing to you. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm it so excited. It is crazy. Okay. I'm it's super like, excited. It, it is insane because let me tell you really quick. Am I going to be scared? Sneak peek, little bonus. There. How many times, I mean, for anyone who's listened to this podcast, how many times has Heather been like, I think you're going to know like who it is or like, you're going to know. And then, you know, it's not very often that I don't know. Yeah. The fact that I didn't know the case Uh that I am going to be bringing you guys. Does it shock your brain? It is one of the most insane cases that I have heard. Oh my gosh. And the fact that I didn't know what it was until maybe a few weeks ago. Oh shit. Makes me like my mind is blown. Okay. So just, just stay tuned for that, you guys. Excited. Yeah. That will be coming next week, y'all. All until right. then. K love you. Bye. K love you. Bye. <laughs>